Alan, I just wanted to to um, speak to you about your experience uh, joining the new Grow online groups. So I never attended a, a physical group, so I suppose I was I was apprehensive initially about being part of an online group. You know, you never know how these things are going to work. You're so used to, I suppose, Zoom calls and work and whatnot. And you think these things can be very um, formal, maybe, because you associate more with work. But I found it brilliant in the sense that, like, you can actually make really genuine connections with people mm-hmm. um, through, through an online meeting. And that's, that surprised me in so many ways because... You wouldn't think that was possible when you hadn't met someone in person. Sure. Do you know, but um, like I've had contact obviously with everyone. You're seeing the same people every week. And like all in all, very, very pleasant experience. Like there's there's something in the Grow program for, I feel that they're reading the Blue Book. The Blue Book is obviously the, the Grow literature. Um. I feel that it gives me something to refer to in all situations yes. because there are so many different aspects of it mm. that touch on, on, on things that you, you wouldn't even consider. And then you see it and you know what? You'd read something and you'd be like, that makes perfect sense to me now, you know? Yes. So um, having the weekly meetings I find just allows me to have better control over my mental health because I feel it's important to attend the groups when you're feeling mentally well or if you're not feeling great and um, the reason being is because when you're having a good week that is the week you can probably help someone else and that's what the program is about it's about other people helping you and you helping others so i just find the structure and um, has usually benefited my life as a whole and i just feel i've more control over my thoughts and i've learned so much about my mind in the last um the last few months while I've been part of the program. Mm-hmm. Um and then you know when you get more familiar with the the program, it just means you always have the literature to refer to when certain things might come up. Mm-hmm. So I think the program once learned just offers a huge structural benefits to every area of your life and the weekly meetings as well obviously are, yes. are a, a huge benefit. And you mentioned there too about the importance of being able to support other people, uh, you know, perhaps when they're struggling. How do you think that's of, of benefit uh, overall in a group, the, the whole aspect of the peer support and people supporting one well, another? Yeah, I suppose like there's there's weeks where I've like sat in groups with after maybe not having a great week and like if you have got some kind of mental fog, it's hard for you to have clarity. Mm-hmm. Um, so having other people there to listen to what you have to say can really shed light on a situation from aspects that you might not be able to see it from. Sure. So um, I found that, and then I found that I, I may have been, which makes you feel good, like say, if you can actually offer some advice to someone yes. you know like that's that's definitely like liberating to yourself as well so like to help somebody else feels good for anybody you know sure. so like you're in a group with people that are there every week so you become very comfortable in discussing issues mm-hmm. and, and i think that you you notice as the weeks go on and you get more familiar with people that everyone becomes very comfortable opening up so it's nice to know that people are comfortable speaking openly in front of you and it's nice to be able to speak openly in front of people you're comfortable enough that the confidentiality aspect you're you feel quite secure um i personally am very respectful of everybody in the group um and respect everyone's confidentiality and i would feel that all involved would would be the same towards me. I feel that everybody in the group is very respectful. I mean, it's it's I suppose all all encompassing. You've got the the grow program. You've got then the the peer support, the benefit of hearing others' perspective on your issues, and then you in turn being able to support them. That builds up and develops over time. But it really is probably one of the fundamental 
um, benefits of coming to grow is that community, yeah, like, sense of community that you you build up with one another. Yeah, because I suppose like I had a couple of things that I had in place in my life. So like, just say simple things like getting up early in the morning, training daily, and um, eating well, things like this I had incorporated over the last couple of years. Mm-hmm. But I never um, specifically gave time or structure to mental health. Yes. Although I knew that a lot of my issues uh, were rooted in mental health. So, like, to put a structure in that, like, all these things are really good, like, you know, running, eating well, getting up early, all these positive things, they, they make you feel better, but you need to give time to your mental health. You really do. I, I feel very strongly about that now, I do. Yes. That, that was something I was missing, that I didn't realise I was missing until I had it, and it just made sense. It's like, no, like, you don't wait until you have a crisis. Yes. You look after it, you maintain it, like, like fitness. If you stop training, you get very unfit very quickly. Sure. <laughs> very if you don't quick. look after your mental health, it can deter very quickly if you are that way inclined. So I think, like anything, um, it has to be maintained and improved all the time. You have to be given time to it, like in order to make it better or just to maintain it. So yeah, I think it's important to have that structure in place mm-hmm. all the time. Mm-hmm. Don't wait until you're in a crisis. Absolutely. Do it now. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, no, I, I totally agree. There's two um, paths, so to speak, within the GROW program. And one is the 12 steps of recovery and growth. Mm-hmm. And the other is the 12 stages of decline. Yes. So at any point, you can be somewhere within either of them 12 steps. Wide, uh, so it's good that you can acknowledge decline as well as progress. Because you can say, I need to take a step back here and I, I need to actually start working a little bit harder because I can see things are moving in the wrong direction. Yes. So it gives you um, just literature to acknowledge where you're at mentally, um, whether that be positive or negative. And then, then it gives you tools to fix it as well. So the pro, it's just, you know what, it's a brilliant program. The literature is very simple, but it's very relatable and understandable. And I just think like, for something that's, that is so surface level, it's just a beautiful piece of literature to follow and to incorporate into your life.